The final video on the monogramming program will cover additional types of editing. Let's begin with changing colors. If I select the monogram and click on a color chip, the entire monogram changes colors. A monogram is a special type of group, and to change the colors of each of the elements of the monogram, you will need to hold the Alt key down and click on the part you wish to change. So I'm going to hold the Alt key down, select the monogram border, and click on a color chip to change the border. I can also click on the inner border and change that to a different color, and also the letters and change the letters to a different color. Another way you can edit a monogram is to kern the letters. The spacing adjustment that you find in the letters tab, and that's in the advanced bar, it's called letter spacing. The letter spacing adjustment adjusts the spacing between the letters, but it might not be the visual effect that you want. So you may have to select the letters, click on reshape, and actually kern the letters. You'll see that there is a magenta diamond in the center of each letter. I can click and drag on that letter and move it to the right or the left of the baseline. If I hold the shift key down and select a letter, I can move it above or below the baseline. And if I hold the control key down, I can move the letters to the right or to the left or up and down. Now you'll notice that both of these letters are moving. And that is because both of them are selected. When you select a letter, the magenta diamond control point turns to royal blue. So you want to make sure that you have the proper letter selected before you start editing. When I'm done editing, I can press the escape key and then I'm ready to continue to edit the design. If a dense ornament will stitch over a satin border, you may need to activate remove overlaps. If I select the monogram, you'll notice that remove overlaps is grayed out. And that is because the ornament needs to be broken apart before Remove Overlaps becomes available. You will always want to save the design as a monogram that is not broken apart. And that is so that you can open this design and come back and access the lettering tab to change the initials the ornament tab if you wish to change the ornaments, or the borders tab if you wish to change the border. Once a monogram is broken apart, it is no longer recognized as a monogram by the software. So you always want to save it not broken apart first. Now I'll select the monogram and I'll select break apart. I'm going to select file save as and I'll just rename this file as a monogram broken apart and now I can select the ornaments and click on remove overlaps and you'll notice that when I move these ornaments that the understitching has been removed. I'll click undo to get that back in place. If you have multiple colored ornaments, you will also want to resequence the ornaments by color. I can hold down and I can select the ornaments and click on sequence by color. A dialog box opens up suggesting the color sequence. And when I click OK, the colors are combined to make for a more efficient stitch out. I hope you have lots of fun creating monograms in Bernina Software 8.